As you can see from my calendar, I like to use colour or categories. We've looked at categories with regards to emails and contacts. You can also use categories for your calendar. Categories tell me what's happening for the week. For example, I can see with the use of orange that this is training at my training suite. I can see with the use of dark blue that this is training off-site. And I can tell by looking at the yellow colour that these are social events. And I can tell that this maroon is development, system development. I can also tell that this blue, very light blue, is any preparation I need to do. And this red is telling me that this is a car event. When I create an appointment, I like to add a category. So if I was to double click this appointment here, for example, while I'm creating the appointment, I'll hit the categorize button in the tags group. When I hit the categorize button, I can assign any of these colors to my appointment. Or I can go into all categories and create a new category and then assign it to this appointment. And here you're able to rename, delete and create new categories, much like we have with earlier objects in Outlook. This particular appointment, I'm going to assign a category to and I'm going to call it business management. When I save and close, I can see the client meeting appears grey. This bid packages, I'd also like to assign a category to. I might actually make this meeting last a little longer first of all by stretching the bottom edge and then I'll right click the appointment and choose a category. And this particular appointment is to do with support, so I'll choose support. If I right click this particular appointment, I can also assign a category and I'll choose support again. So categories are very good to colour code your appointments and give you some indication as to what sorts of work you've got in front of you for that week.